Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment I am. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, 
Now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through this same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace, for the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you. For the gift of the Word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy, our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, our model of prayer in the Cenacle, pray for us that we may become what we receive, the body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Joseph. O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your most holy mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, we may have through his intercession. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Peter Julian Amar. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter Julian Amard, like Jacob in times past, on a journey of faith, under the guidance of your gentle spirit. Peter Julian discovered the gift of love in the Eucharist, which your son Jesus offered for the hungers of humanity. Grant that we may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically for your greater glory. Amen. Saint Peter Julian Amard, Apostle of the Eucharist, pray for us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Lord Jesus Christ, abide with us. 
now that the sun has run its course, let hope not be obscured by night, but may fate's darkness be as light. Lord Jesus Christ, grant us your peace, and when the trials of earth shall cease, grant us the morning light of grace, the radiant splendor of your face. Immortal, holy, threefold light, yours be the kingdom power and might, all glory be eternally, to you life-giving Trinity. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Jesus wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Today, we celebrate the feast of Saint Bartholomew, one of the 12 apostles. He is also known as Nathaniel. The evangelist gives us a beautiful vocation story of Saint Bartholomew. His vocation story also reflects our own vocation stories. Most often, when we hear the word vocation, what comes into our minds is immediately priesthood or consecrated life, which is not the case. Whether in marriage vocation, in priesthood or religious life, we all have responded in one way or, the, or another like Nathaniel, or even still responding like Nathaniel. For Nathaniel was convinced that nothing good can come from Nazareth. Even as before choosing to engage into whatever vocation we are in right now, we all had our doubts, our biases, our fears of the unknown, and among others, asking ourselves, can anything good come from religious life? Can anything good come from this congregation? Can anything good come from priestly life? Can anything good come from marriage life? Can this man or will this man be a good husband in the future? Will this girlfriend of mine make a good wife? Certainly we cannot give answers to all of these questions. But one thing is certain, Christ who calls us is the light that shines in the darkness and darkness cannot overcome it. Let's give him the chance to shine and penetrate through our darkness, through our biases, through our blindness, worries, fears and excuses that blocks us from embracing his mission. All will end up in a profession of faith like Nathaniel, Rabbi, you are the son of God. We too will cry out, Lord, I am happy to embrace this specific vocation that you have given me. I have embraced marriage life, marriage vocation, and happy and joyfully I am carrying out your mission. Or I have become a religious, a priest, and I am happy with your call. Secondly, like Philip, we are just instruments of God's call. We cannot but proclaim the joy of finding the Lord, the joy of being with the Lord. For, in, for it is our mission to say, come and see. And the Lord will affirm you before that person came to you, I knew you. I had a plan for you to join religious life, to be a diocesan priest. Before you met that person, that husband, that wife, in the mall, in the marketplace, in the church, I knew you and I had a plan for you. The two of you were meant to be for each other. May God bless us all.
If I could touch you and feel your broken heart, if I can hold you in my arms, I call the soft breeze to caress your weary arms. I call the moonbeam to dispel this darkest night. If I could touch you, I would. If I could hear you, your words of anguish. If you just whisper in my ear, the sadness weighing down your heart. That no man sees. If you just call me, I would sing a flaming hope. If I could hear you, I would. Long have I waited for you to hear my cry. Long have I waited for you to answer my plea. What you do to your brethren, you do it for me. I am in the brokenness and woundedness of men. And I have waited for you to hear my cry. Long have I waited for you to answer my plea. What you do to your brethren, you do it for me. I am in the brokenness and woundedness of man. If I could touch you, I'd heal your broken palms. If I could hold you in my arms, I call this soft breeze to caress your weary arms. I call the moonbeam to dispel this darkest night. If I could touch you. I would.